Hello, my Aquariuses, and happy birthday to you. So, I would advise you to watch the um, overview breakthrough just because it was interesting. There's a lot of Aquarius things going on, so I would just advise you to take a peek at that. But remember, and that's where I'm also telling you a little bit about me, the cards I'm going to use, and also I remind you to um, remember these are general readings. They may or may not resonate. Take what you like, leave the rest. Also, take a moment, do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. You help me so much. Now, let me ground down a little bit or let me get a little bit more grounded. Let's put it that way and ask, you know, hi, higher power, Holy Spirit, what would you like to say? for this weekend for our Aquariuses. They've got some stuff happening. They've got stuff happening in their sign, let's put it that way. So what would you like to give us? What would you like to tell my Aquariuses? Or our Aquariuses? I know, Aquarians, but I like to call you my Aquariuses because it just feels a little closer. Okay, here we go. Three cards. Reversed cards are um, strong energy. That's how I read them. Let's see what we've got here for you. Okay, the Knight of Earth. Money coming in, also going after new jobs, also um, going after something that feels very grounded, very powerful to you. Maybe you're buying a new house. Uh, maybe you're starting a new business. There has to be a lot of intention behind this, as in you need to make sure that you've gotten your plan, your business plan. Again, I don't do financial or um, yeah, I don't do financial or legal advice, okay? But I just feel like that you need to make sure, in the night of earth, you need to make sure you've, you've, you've gotten your I's dotted, your T's crossed, all the things are put in place, okay? There is a potential for growth. There is a potential of strong um strong direction here so it's kind of like this weekend you're really feeling the push you're really feeling the pull and there's a lot of there's a lot of um hmm, really strong insight on what you want now the thing about this is that in a week or so you may start doubting yourself but at this point there is such self-confidence and there is such you know there is such a this is the path I need to go down. This is the path I want. So we have a knight. Court cards have dual energies. Knights are fire energy, and that's our Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Remember, Jupiter in Aries, and we just had that Leo full moon that will be pushing you forward with that. Earth energy is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Capricorn and Taurus have had a lot of stuff going on too. So it is, you know, there's been a lot of, with Capricorn and that Pluto, there's been a lot of disruption. There's been a lot of digging. And now there is coming to this point, well, you know, and again to March, 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 um, where there is a lot of not necessarily, um, you know, it's not like you've taken all the furniture out of your house, you've cleaned it, and then you put the furniture back in. There is a new direction. There is a new, um, you know, there is a new way. There, You know, there's a lot of getting rid of the old and starting in with the new. Okay, so earth, money, job, career. Knight of earth is loyal, dedicated, honorable, and kind. Time to buckle down and get things done. Let me see if I can go to my... My thing, my autofocus. Is my autofocus here? No, no, no. Hold on a second. I'm going to do my autofocus here. Autofocus. We'll put that back on. Sometimes it really works and sometimes it doesn't. So time to buckle down and get things done. Honor your commitment, a guardian angel. So make your plan. Really, there's a really strong dedication. Well, it says dedicated, but there's a strong, like, I know that this is where I need to go. Why don't you write that down? Why don't you record that? So when you have those moments of, is this really what I want? You can go back to that. Okay, that recording, that writing down. Next card is the two of earth. So now we have a two. Two is about choices, decisions, crossroads. Um, earth, again, the same type. You are very grounded this ener with this energy. You are very much on your path with this. The thing about the two of earth, Besides, there is, you know, you need, there needs to be some balance. So this is one of those times, you know, that you're just so focused on, you know, getting to there, getting there, getting there, that you st sometimes forget to enjoy your journey. 
sometimes you you know you forget to like take a look and enjoy the scenery too so we have too much going on at once the need to make a decision consider a more playful approach so part of the decision is again do i go forward do i stay where i'm at um do i return and this is one of those things that it just will help like i said write it down or record your reasons record you know like do a video on why you're going the direction you're going and it doesn't mean you can't change your mind, but when you are kind of doubting yourself, you may want to look back and kind of say, okay, that makes sense. Or you can always revise your plans. Your next card is reversed. The Magician. So we have a 2-1. We have a 1-2. Now we also have February 12th, 1-2 coming up. So could something to happen with that one is a new beginning a new start the magician is archangel raziel raziel you know basically is saying as on in the heavens so on earth raziel the magician is also saying you have the ability you have the power you are even blessed to make things happen you do have to believe you have to believe in yourself you have to believe in that higher power and when you have something that's so strong with this Knight of Earth, even though it's a court card, I just feel like it's your there's a there's it's just such a strong sense of purpose here. And then the magician is kind of like, do you believe in your purpose? Do you believe in what you're supposed to be doing? So you are ready. You have the resources or the ability to manifest them. Life is magical. I love magic. I love the magical life. Okay, let's see. John Holland. Okay, higher power. What else do you have for us? 2-1, one, one, 2 February 1st, February 21st, 12th. Okay, ooh, okay. So now we come to, and this has a purpler, I think this is a little purplish. So this would be the one of fire. Fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Remember Jupiter in Aries, and we just had that that new, that full Leo moon. Passion ignited a new path. You know, so not only are you just determined, but it's something that's really exciting you. So what I would do too with this going on is I would be, I would keep myself aware of what is what I hear. I would keep myself aware of my next steps. And I would do a lot of meditating with this and just saying, oh, I want to make sure that I am on the right path. But this is about believing in yourself and believing in the path that you've been given. Okay? So, and there's such a sense of purpose. I really say again, 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 I would like you to record it, video it, videotape why you're doing what you're doing so that when there is that sense of insecurity and it comes, it comes to all of us, you can go back and, you know, and remember why that was okay these are the angels of abundance because this is about abundance new passion we have that one one energy again two one 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 two angels of abundance what else what else do we want for my aquarians aquariuses here we go power of prayer give the situation to god for uplifting and healing and be open to miracles. Heaven's unlimited resources, love, and answers are awaiting your prayers. Be sure to act upon the divine guidance God gives you, gives to you in response to your prayers. So it's not just one thing to pray. You know, sometimes it's like we pray and we just want it to happen. And, so, and many, that can definitely happen. But, you know, but if we're told, if we're kind of like nudged, we have to listen to those nudges and we have to act upon them ourselves. Okay. Crystal or energy for my Aquariuses. Crystal or energy for my Aquariuses. Here we go. Amethyst, a good February stone. Spiritual insight, creativity, psychic protection, courage. I love that. I love that. Okay, I said we would do the divine messages from radley valentine remember this is not don't make your life choices on this but it is a little fun so get your question get your question if you have a question or a concern and let's see aquarius aquarius angel answers 
heavenly celestial angels. What for our Aquariuses? Okay. Reversed. It's up to you. Let me know if that resonates with any of you. Um, many times, like I've said, I say, I've said this a couple of times, these, it's kind of like, ah, oh, I want yes, no, I want this, that. And sometimes you get this, it's up to you. And you know what? It is. It is up to us. We have choices. And, so, but we have to also remember, we have a partner. Okay. Anyway, my Aquariuses, comment, let me know. Take what you like, leave the rest, let me know. Um, also, do the like, share, subscribe, clicking on the bell for notifications. As always, my Aquarians, Aquariuses, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.